All right, groovy guys and gals. We're gonna be looking at the engine harness in this 71 C3. Uh, because we have a lot of very old wiring that we need to replace. And there's splices, there's not things with no ends on them, there's mystery wires, and there's things that uh, just need to be replaced. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna identify where the wiring harness comes in, uh, which is down there. So let's go down there and take a look. All right, so the wiring harness that we just saw, just see, heads up, up there, comes into the engine bay via the firewall clip. So what I need to do is unhook it. I believe there is a screw or Allen screw or some kind of screw that's holding that in place. Uh, and I need to go look that up and come back. And my goal today is to unhook that. Okay, so my phone died, so I couldn't show you the whole process of removing this, but I'll take you through it. 3 8 inch socket right in the middle uh the other half of this is the light the front lights harness this clips right into the back of the fuse box um so just get a 3 8 socket on that and you can pull the whole thing out and then you slide the other half out um this connects to the horn relay which is right there this stuff connects to i don't know what it is but i'll show you underneath here and underneath there this stuff is mostly for the wiper motor which is connectors down here and uh, a couple on the other side this wire on my car goes to the ignition coil right here on the coil uh, this stuff I'm not going to use this is for the old heater I'm not using that and then the rest of this most of this was on the starter of course all the starter stuff ends up down here but I have my starter pulled out right now so that's not connected uh, one last thing is that on this car, and I think this is pretty standard, the wires ran in back of the wiper motor. Let me go around the other side and I'll show you. Um, and I think that's where you want to run them. Uh, so I loosened these. I loosened up the starter motor and I was able to just uh, wiggle the wires out the bottom. So you could... Um, get it out that way. I don't know if I can get it in the other way, but they, the, the wires run right in back of there and come out the other side. So that's something you want to think about. All right, you guys. And then the other thing is um, I disconnected the wires that run down to the, um, there's a switch. Uh, there's a sensor that's on the transmission and uh, those wires are also kind of roached, so I'm gonna replace those as well, and there might be some other things, but oh, that's the main uh, engine harness. Uh, and uh, there'll be some other little doodads that I have to replace, but I should be getting the other one tomorrow or the next day, so I'll take you on the whole journey, putting it in.